is notorious for performing Masonic rituals. This is the end time prophecy. If y'all really don't want to act like demons don't exist. The Bible exist. says, and there shall be signs in the shed. Last video was well researched and incredibly meticulously planned, but it seems like nobody cares about that anymore. I'm excited for the eclipse. Me, I don't care about the sun. A lot of people are very, very, very misinformed. Is the last photos he'll ever take, after all. <laughs> For example, there was a solar eclipse a couple of days ago, and what they don't realize is that Cthulhu actually did rise. I traveled down to Houston, Texas to meet with some of the locals and experience the solar eclipse, sorry, the rising of Cthulhu for myself. I met with a local professor to get some more information about the science behind the solar eclipse and ultimately what the government wants to tell you to keep you under control. The eclipse. <laughs> yes, I hope it brings us all together. I fear that it won't bring us all together and that we're just gonna have some more conspiracy theories. We still should see the rapture today. We still should see um, Zulu, Prince Zulu return. Um, do I think Cthulhu? Oh, you have to pronounce it right. Like, okay. He will totally return. Your only hope is to be eaten first. That way you don't have to watch everybody else go. No, the stars are right. We're all damned. The world will be consumed by the Elder Gods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I think we're obsessed with the moon because of love and poetry and history and storytelling and science. Yeah, so there's this piece of the Earth's crust that got smacked off by a, a meteorite one time and this big old piece just got biffed off and that became the moon. It's remarkable and it's wonderful that we get to experience this. In the early 20th century the United States helped the dairy farmers because they made too much milk and uh, people were sick of milk so the United States government bought up a bunch of milk and they didn't have anywhere to put it so they put it out in space um, and that's why we have the moon. Huh. Nothing happened. What was supposed to happen is the end of the world. However, for some reason, Cthulhu decided that now wasn't the right time, and I have to agree with the Dark Lord here. There is a lot left to learn, and there's a lot left to see, and there's a lot left to explore. There's plenty more solar eclipses, and it's unfortunate that so much of our time is taken up with rage bait and online discourse about things that most people don't even believe in. I don't believe in Cthulhu. I don't think that the world is going to end when we have another solar eclipse in a year. The truth of the matter is, everybody that I talked to was completely normal. Well, then some guy came and he bought us some glasses. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that is very, very cool. That's my best. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that so much. Michigan. We want to see our solar system. We want to see our universe. We want to learn as much as we can about it. I do believe that they wanted to share a moment in time where the sun and the moon and the earth are in perfect unison to see an absolutely awe-inspiring Oh my gosh. Spectacle. That's incredible. It's really unfortunate that so much of the conversation around different events like this are taken up by people that are just trying to get attention. They're just trying to make a splash in the infinite pond that we call the universe. I believe that it was Cthulhu himself who said, those who travel gain wisdom. Intelligence, however, is gained through incredibly hard work and shouldn't be taken for granted. It was Cthulhu himself who said that. Cooperation is the only thing that got us this far. What we need to do is just hear each other out, talk, and listen, and be human. And with that, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you 
in the next video.